Hi guys, this is my Miracle on 34th Street review. Yay! Okay, so 5th of December, possibly the windiest day up north. I decided to get on a train and come down to Birmingham and what should have been a three hour journey turned to five and a half hours, but you'll see more on that in my upcoming vlog of theatre trips December 2013. Um, so onto the show. This show, if you didn't know, it's about a mother and daughter who, the mum works for Macy's and she's brought her daughter up not to, to believe in Santa and things that she can't see and whatever and there's like this ex-Navy guy, RAF guy, Air Force guy, um, he comes along and he tries to get the daughter to start believing and Santa shows up and um, the mum hires him to work in Macy's as their Santa and it ends up with like Santa getting arrested and having to face court and it all goes kind of wrong for a bit and then it comes out happy. Um, I went to see this show purely because I'm a really big fan of Genevieve Nicole, who you know from my chorus line videos. Um, she was a swing in that and she covered lots of different roles and I got to see her in a couple of them. In this, she's the lead, female lead, she's the mom, who Doris, and I had Poppy Carter as Susan, her daughter, uh, Fred the ex-military guy, da as played by Daniel Fletcher, who I'd seen in Rock of Ages as Dennis Dupree. We also had James Murphy as Chris Kringle, Paul Cleveland as Mr Macy, David Christopher Brown as Shellhammer, Hedrika Gert slash Girl Scout slash Ensemble Charlotte Jeffrey who I've seen in Mamma Mia and Hairspray, uh, Cruikshank slash Reporter Ensemble Caroline Bateson, Dutch Mom slash Sim slash Ensemble Lorraine Graham, Clara Slash Ensemble, Inez McKenzie. There's a lot of character names here. Harry F, Tommy, Vender, Mailman Ensemble, Stuart Matthews, Policeman Slash Bailiff Slash Whitey Slash Ensemble, Brett Shields, Climber Slash Judge Slash Lawyer Slash Ensemble, Gary Rowe, DA Alvin, no, DA Slash Alvin Slash Mayor Ensemble, Sean McCart, and Mrs. Finfar slash ensemble Ellen Veronique. So I hope I've got that right. It's actually a really small cast, but the New Alexandra Theatre I feel is quite a small theatre. I know Ghost is on there at the minute, so I don't know how that works, but the stage did still manage to look crowded even with a small cast like that all on stage together. Um I love the show. It's an it was a nice bit of Christmas fluff to get you in the Christmas spirit. Um, very different from the 1994 film with Mara Wilson, you know the one I'm on about. Um, yeah, it's really based on the old film and the old stage show that was on years and years and years, like, I can't remember when it was on stage, but a very, very long time ago. It predates the 1990 film, so, and I love it. I think it's fantastic. Like, it's not a big thing for like Genevieve and that. She has got a few numbers, but it's nothing like a chorus line or phantom or something like that. It's very much like an ensemble and like group song numbers. But it's really good and I really enjoyed it. Um, it's been on tour for a little while now. I don't know if it's finished now um, because it is a Christmas show, so you can't really be touring that in the middle of summer. But they've been doing loads of venues, like, from what I gather, it actually came to Billingham near me, but I couldn't make it on those dates because they were only there for four days. And in some dates they've been only been doing three venues. I think Charlotte Jeffrey told me their longest venue was a week in Windsor. And then, like, other venues have been doing, like, three or four days, five days. They've not really been staying very long at all. Um, so it was good to catch it when I could. And... Who was it who played Macy again? Oh, Paul Cleveland. He's hilarious. He looks really odd, but then when he's all dressed up as Mr. Macy, it's like really, really funny. Um, 
Poppy Carter as Susan, she really stood out for me. She was really good. I don't know how old she is, but she definitely kind of looks like a 12 year old. It's mental, I think. Can I show you the picture? Yeah, there, that's Poppy Carter. I don't know if you can see that clearly. And there's Genevieve and Daniel. And there's some of the cast there. Ah, my hands are in the way. Um, so yeah, really good show and the cast look like they're enjoying it, which is good. Um, Stuart Matthews, he really stood out for me as well. I don't know why he just did, he just seemed to really be enjoying what he was doing. And I'd like to see more of him in the future in musical theatre. And also there's Sean McCart who I know has been doing the, ah, wrong way, Joseph tour. Um, he did that because uh, a friend of mine's a really big fan of his um, Hannah Sarkar yeah she loved Sean McCart and yeah they're all really good they're all really fantastic and it was definitely a nice Christmas show to get me in the mood and it prompted me to get on with my secret Santa present because I left that till the last minute that was the only Christmas present but I don't really count it as a Christmas present that I left till the last minute so yeah very good show and I'd hopefully like to see it again next year if it comes near me and I'm actually available. Depends where I'm at though, doesn't it? <laughs> so that's my review on Miracle on 34th Street. Thank you very much.